Okay, good morning. Today's the day. So we'll go over a couple things. Number one, I gotta inform you guys that we gotta make sure that you have a partner that's gonna help you on and off. You're not gonna need an assistant the whole time, but make sure you have someone who can jump in there with you when you need it. Because there's nothing worse than trying to reach for something and not be able to get it because they're holding something on the engine. Kind of leaves you in a predicament if uh, that does arise. Um, so the first things we're going to be doing here is obviously draining out the oil um, and uh, removing this hood. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, you guys, if you're at this advanced level, you should know how to do that. Um, but we will be going over tools that are required for this job. And when I say required, I say required because um, you don't want to be fooling around with Mickey Mouse tools. And that's just going to land you in a world of trouble when you keep your falls to the oil gallery. So... Let's just do it right, get the right tools, and it'll go a lot smoother. First, if you have one or you can get your hands on one, an inspection camera is a vital tool as far as um, getting an eye under the valve cover and seeing what what's under there, if there's things that are hiding or whatever. It's always a good tool to have. Also, basic socket wrench, extensions, um, power ratchet is, is best. This is the Valve Master. It's about 80 bucks, but it'll help you out immensely as an installer and remover tool all in one there. And always stay with Felpro. You got a Felpro valve gasket, Felpro uh, valve seals. Did notice something weird here. That's that. There's not a difference in color from intake to exhaust. I'm guessing that in this application, it doesn't matter as much. Valve stem remover tool, uh, snap on or blue point makes these. You can also get different variations of it, but I do believe for this application these would be best. Um, you can probably get them for as a rental from any uh, shop, but I mean from like AutoZone or whatever. But you know I prefer to have these tools. Um, long nose, needle nose, pliers, straight and curved, um, dikes just in case, and then I uh, got zip ties. This is what we're going to use. It's, it's a compression tool, uh, the compre uh, compression gauge tool. Um, we're just going to hook up to the house air here. That's going to let us um, compress, put air inside the cylinder. You have to take the Schrader valve out of the end here. This is a simple Schrader valve tool. Remove that and it'll allow us to put air pressure into the cylinder. Like I said last night, 70 to 80 psi should do it. Um, magnetic pickup tool always needed in this application and then we have a giant crowbar here and that's going to be used uh, you'll see with the zip ties and that's going to be to hold the the um, the uh, cam gears out of the way I'm going to lay that on top of the cam cover and then zip, zip tie them to the um, to the crowbar and that's going to hold them out of the way so we don't lose slack in the on the um, <clears throat> on the chain so that's it that's the beginning um, we'll come back when we get started here.